ça, Alain. Oui, Diane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be in English, though, okay? In English? Yes, oh. because I have an international, okay. so do you. So, um, the collections I've seen are much, they're more refined than ever. It's very um, elegant and less flashy. Mm -hmm. So what's happened to change? I like that, by the way. <coughs> It's a question of uh, age, <laughs> I'm coming older, you know, it's, uh, and uh, I'm looking more the sophistication, the sophistication is coming with um, the know-how, uh, when you handle uh, your job, when you handle, uh, you handle what you're doing since so many years, you're looking always the perfection and you want to push to the perfection and uh, you never reach a perfection. Because the perfection, it's, some, it's a level, uh, it's impossible to, to arrive at this level. But you, you dream and uh, I hope one day, uh, before I die, I can have this perfection. <laughs> because the glasses that come and go behind you, hmm? it's on eyelashes was the inspiration? Yes, it's, um, um, no, it's, I love the, the eyes, I love the, the sight. Love at the first sight, it's uh, it's all the life. It's uh, you know all these uh, few seconds of your life. Your life can change when you met somebody, and uh, I get this inspiration. I get this uh, these details to have uh, like your makeup. It's like uh, you, you dress again your eyes and you you make this uh, blush eyes again. Which is great. It's beautiful. Especially for someone like, like me that never takes them off. Oh, it's that's really, true. <laughs> <laughs> it's really important because these are so fine. They're really delicate. So the idea is, you wear it and it's going to light up sometime. Or it's um, it's, it's to show it, but also to be very discreet. Because, like uh, you say, uh, it's it's uh, it's over now. The, the design I did uh, many years ago. It's very uh, just arrogant. Mm -hmm. But uh, to work by detail, it's like a, a micro mechanic uh, details, micro precision of uh, how to cut. It's like a surgical uh, operation when I, I work the frame, just to show details, but not to change the really the, the attitude. Uh, and also, I do it for the intimate of the person, uh, not only for outside. It's to have, uh, when you wear now all the new product, it's really uh, more uh, private, more uh, intimate. It's really for your first, yourself, for your first uh, pleasure. That's how it should be, I think. Uh, I think so, because uh, we live for ourselves and uh, you, we need to drive our pleasure and just not only to show, uh, because sh to show it's only a question of attitude. But if you are warm inside, if you have a very clear ideas and you, if you know who you are, it's easier to, to give a, a show. Uh, and I think it's much more powerful to give a show with something real than just by a, a question of attitude. Yeah, I think so too. And here, let's walk across to the, the more eyebrow concentrated ones. Because there are some really interesting techniques too, I noticed. It's um, it's the same um, same approach, but another way. It's um, just to design the eyebrow and to to ch to, to give <coughs> can make a makeup, can another uh, attitude on the top and to play with uh, the black and white and the red and black uh, by uh, discretion, not too arrogant, not uh, completely solid white, or, but uh, really by small um, details, always. If I wear that, uh, it's not for myself, but... Uh, it's great. <laughs> it's like a smile. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. You have to help yourself to enjoy, <laughs> and uh, it's it's very easy because you up, take off.
it's in the Zoposan. Yeah, it's true. That's what I love about them. Let's move into the next room. <laughs> <laughs> the I noticed there were some uh, kind of striated on the the textile, mm -hmm. the material. Let's move. <laughs> I think it was in here. I love these sets. They're so great. Was it here? It was the one, maybe it's further. It was kind of striated. Uh, the acetate. Ah, uh, no, it's this one. And you're the master of acetate. Uh, I try to be. It's the material that you've always worked with and... Yes, I worked with uh, mat this material since the beginning. And... Um, when was the beginning exactly? 78. 78? Yeah. So I know you seven years in. Uh, 78, so how many years is that now? It's uh, so much. Yeah, <laughs> trying to find the right yeah. light. I don't remember the first time I met you. In Tokyo, I think. In, it was in Tokyo? Who is the woman that used to be with you? I think she still works with you with the red hair. Ah, uh, Sylvie. Sylvie. Uh, Sylvie, yes, she's coming now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I met ah, you her. Remember, uh, you remember her? Of course. I, yeah. I was in your press office in 1985 yeah. in Tokyo. Because yeah, I got 25 cat's eye glasses. That's mm -hmm. when it all started, the love affair. First love that just, I could never change them. No. I, I was always trying, and I was like, no, it's nothing else suits me or I, I like. Uh, it's a funny story I'll tell you later. But, um, so acetate, striated. <laughs> Acetate, it's, um, it's a really a material today I handle uh, more and more and I learn, I still to learn every year how to, to make it. Um, and since a few years uh, I want to have um, a tactile feeling, not only to be uh, uh, in one dimension but uh, to feel, to have different parts of the frame with different texture, mm -hmm. different details uh, and to play with the light. Because when you wear uh, a very, uh, very, uh, very simple frame, mm -hmm. it looks like you have uh, two kinds of material, two types of colors, uh, because uh, you catch the light and uh, the bottom you do give a reflection to the light. That means it's lighter, it's uh, smaller, the frame is smaller on your face. And when you have in your hand, you, it's not only flat, it's uh, with uh, material. That means I love to have four and dimensions. And this only net. <laughs> exactly. That was wonderful, huh? My nose. <laughs> I, uh, and uh, it's small details, but it takes time to practice, to do again, this kind of thing. Uh, and I have to use the laser technique, laser, to cut the material. It uh, means it has to be very precise again. Like this one. Oh yeah, that's another look completely. It's great. It's very um, film director. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm uh, no, I'm not a film director. But it looks like that. Yeah. Beautiful. Which are your favorite? Do you have a I do uh, all your little children, I know. Uh, no, I don't have favor because, uh, because for me, when uh, I do a new collection, it's over, it's done, it's finished. And I work, of course, on the two next collection. Uh, and uh, my favorite, it's uh, the next one, uh, is not uh, yet arrived on the market. Uh, I'm still to be a kid, to, to play with uh, new things and to be tired very quickly when you have it. Uh, and also it's because it's a challenge to bring all the time something different and especially now, now uh, I am with Luxotica, that means it's uh, wonderful for, my, for myself because I don't have to worry about the global business, 
I, I can be concentrated only on the design and I'm very uh, impatient. I would like to go faster to bring a much more collection uh, than what uh, they asked me because I would like to bring on the market much more than what I bring the, the 10 last year. Great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is it going off? <laughs>